Hi people, in this video I continue solving more exercises for beginners. Here I will be using some commands to modify objects, specifically offset, trim and mirror. Let's proceed with the tutorial. Exercise 6 In this exercise we are going to use circles. The image at the left shows the procedure that I will be using to reach the final result, the image at the right. Let's start. First, I'm going to draw a circle. Click on the icon over there. Now click for the center point and then insert the radius of the circle. I type 40 and press enter. Then, I need to draw these lines. I go to the Object Snap settings and check if the Mode Center is on. Then, if I hoof the pointer over the circle, I can snap the center. I place the mouse over there, move vertically to this side until I find the intersection between the track line and the circle. I click here for placing the first point of the line. The second point will be that one on the other side. Press escape to exit the command. Now it's easy to draw the small circles. As their centers are defined by the intersections of lines, I type C for the command circle, click on this end point and type 20 for the radius. Press enter, then press enter again to reactivate the previous command. Then I have to do the same on the other side. Finally, I have to trim the segments of the objects that are not needed. Click on the button Trim. Select all the objects. Press Enter. Next, select all these parts to erase. Press Enter again. The objects that were not deleted I can select them and press the key DELETE. OK, this exercise is finished. But before going to the next, I want to show you that I could draw the circles faster. If I use the Object Snap mode Quadrant, it snaps the points which are intersected by the UCS coordinates, as you see. So I could draw a circle directly on this side. Exercise 7. Here I'm going to use Offset. This tool allows me to inscribe a polyline inside another. I'm going to start. I type PL and press Enter to draw this polyline. Choose the start point, then draw it following the lengths of each line. I'm going to use the Orso mode as it's easier to draw orthogonal lines. Then I continue, here I type 30, the next one is 100, and to finish the polyline I can connect to the end point, and there is no need to deactivate the ortho mode. Next, I am going to use offset to draw the inner polyline. The offset distance, I type 5, as is the distance here. Then I select the polyline, move the pointer inwards and click. Press Enter to, to exit the command. This was easy. Let's continue. This time I have to draw these lines. I start with this one and the distance here is known, 30. I turn on the command line, go to this end point, drag over the oblique line and type 30. Then I can draw a line here and the length is 25. After I just need to do the same on the other side. Ok, at the end connect those lines like this. Exercise 8 this looks a bit more complex, but it's actually easy to draw. 
First, we are going to draw all this polyline until here. And all the measures are on the screen. Let's start. I'm going to type PL, press Enter. And I draw all the polyline with the ORSO mode turned on, as it's much easier. I keep drawing. Now I insert the length of 44 for this line. Then 4. This one is 20. And I do everything until I reach the middle of this figure. When I, reach the diagonal, when I reach the diagonal line, I switch to the polar tracking, place the line on this direction, type 20 for the distance, then press tab and type 60 for the angle. Press escape to exit the command. Next, I need to offset the polyline with a distance of 3. Type O, press enter, then type 3 for the offset distance. Press Enter again. Then I select the polyline, move the pointer to this side and click to place the new polyline. So the next step is to draw a line to connect both polylines. As you see. Then I draw a circle from this midpoint of the line I drew previously. And insert 5 for the radius. On the space here, I need to draw these two lines. The location is easy to know. I just have to click on the endpoints of the polyline segments. This way. Then I draw the second line. Here. Now I can use the command trim to get rid of the segments I don't want. Type TR to activate the command. Select everything, press Enter. Select these lines. Then the things inside the circle. Don't forget to click on this arc. Press Enter. At the end, click on this little line and press Delete. Finally, I need to draw the remaining half side of this figure. And as it's symmetric, I can easily draw with the command mirror. I type MI and press ENTER. I select all the objects, press ENTER again. Click here for the first point of the mirror line. Then if I draw the line vertically, imagine it as a mirror, the objects are placed in this way. Then I click NO to keep the original objects. Exercise 9. This is an example of a window that is commonly used on a building elevation. A quick way to draw this is with rectangles. First step. I am going to draw the frame using the tool Rectangle. Type REC and press Enter. Click for the first point. Then I can insert the length on the x-axis, which is 100. Press the button Tab to switch to the Y axis. I insert 80. Press Enter to draw the rectangle. After, I draw the next one. And its first point is located here, with these distances from the frame outline. A good method here is to draw a line, go to this end point, move to the right, type 5 and press Enter. The new line starts there. Then I just need to draw a vertical line with 5 of length. Now I know the next rectangle starts at the end point of the line I just drew. I activate the command, click on the end point, then I insert the lengths. The first is 40. Press tab and insert 70 for the second one. Press enter to confirm it. After this, I need to inscribe another rectangle inside the last one. I am going to click on Offset. Type 10 for the offset distance. Then I click on the polyline, 
a rectangle is actually polyline, don't forget this. Click inside to place the new rectangle. Now, I just have to copy both rectangles to the other side of the window. I am going to use the command mirror for this. Select the objects and press enter. Then, I choose this midpoint because it's on the middle of the window and, and then draw a vertical mirror line. Here, choose no to keep the original objects and press enter. Finally, I'm going to draw a vertical line again from the midpoint. I hold this endpoint, drag to the right and click on the intersection of these track lines. Also, I have to stretch a bit on the button by clicking on the grips. This little line, I need to delete it. And the window is finished. So, it's everything in this lesson. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cat in Black to get easy access to the full list of tutorials. If you think these videos are not enough for you, I can provide online private lessons. Just send me an email and I can give you all the details. Thank you and hope to see you next time.